In the last video, we did a little introduction to what this section of math in real life is going to be about, which is basically food and farming, uh, learning how to grow food. And what we're going to do is hit up a couple of friends that I have who have started a farm, uh, specifically a CSA, uh, Community Supported Agriculture, Community Sponsored Agriculture. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, have a talk with them and find out what it is, uh, learn some of the details of uh, what it takes to start a farm, to grow your own food, to be able to sustain in your life okay now before we have a little sit down and talk to Marvin and Vanessa what we need to do is uh, get a sort of a visual of what their farm looks like and define some of the terms that we're going to hear uh, that they're going to use so what we're gonna do is uh, use the blackboard here and go you know run through really quickly of the way they've partitioned off the the, the land that they have um, into different segments and how they're growing the crops and what they're uh, how they're defining Finding their terms so when they're when they're telling us their story we'll have a better understanding of what it is that they're talking about okay and this is something that mathematics is is used for a lot obviously right one of the main branches that mathematics has, has come to be is uh, from us trying to understand put ourselves in space in time right because that's one of the main focuses of mathematics is to be able to do geometry and do trigonometry and just to um, be able to create things based on their whatever dimensions they are right and one of the first things we do when we go beyond just a one dimensional thing we go into two dimensions which is basically a planar view a map of something so that's exactly what we're going to do right now is sort of a look over the farm and get a visual of what it is that they are doing and how they've laid out their their sections where they're growing the crops okay now what Marv has, Marv and Vanessa have done is broken off their the land that they have to be able to do their farming into sections into they've 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 been calling them squares but i'm calling them sections because they're not perfect squares i'm trying to be a purist about this thing regarding the mathematics right so what they've done is they've broken their their land uh into four different sections right now and each section section is 70 by 60 feet so basically the dimensions of this are 60 feet by 70 feet so width and length is width is 60 feet the length is 70 feet to find the area 60 times 70 6 times 7 is 42 and you got two zeros so it's 4200 square feet so the area that they have to work with is 4200 square feet now 4,200 square feet comes out to be point, about 0.1 acre or what's the other one? Uh, 0 0.04 hectares, okay? Now they have four of these things. So basically they're working with 0.4 acres or 0.16 hectares, okay? That's how much farmland they have to work with. the way they're laying down their beds for the crops and that's what uh, where you plant your uh, crop they call that beds okay so the way they're doing this is they have a tractor and they have a tilling implement basically a machine that goes around and kicks up the soil gets it ready for them to plant their crops and the way it's laid out is basically dependent on how wide the tilling implement is how wide their uh, machinery is to plow their land right and that is about five feet, five feet in width, right? So what they do is they come along here and they have their tractor and they have their implement behind the tractor. And that, that implement is basically coming along and tilling this area going like this. And what they do, so this becomes their bed where they lay down their crops. And because the tractor's tires are wider than, than the implement, uh, the tractor's tires basically pound the ground down and make a path for them to walk and harvest their crop. And the path that they're able to do this with, the, the width of the tractor tires is one and a half feet. So the way it works is they go along here tilling the ground. So this ground is ready to be planted, right? And they do it a few times. And there is a, 
one and a half one and a half foot path here that they can go down and start harvesting their crops and what they do and the way they've laid out their sections is uh, so that their tractor can move around each section without disturbing the beds right so when the, this is obviously not to scale right so when the tractor comes out of here does a little turn and whoosh, goes back up here and they have another bed laying down this way and this bed as well is about five feet right so what they have is this is five feet and there's a one and a half foot path here for them that's supposed to be one and a half and that's a five right so there's a one and a half foot path here for them to be able to walk along and harvest crops from this end and harvest crops from this end and when the tractor goes back up here it creates another path right because the tire is going like this so the tire was going like this and then does a little turn comes back up here so this one gets pounded twice so it becomes harder so it's a nice path to walk on and then when the tractor comes back or going this way lays down this one and this guy again the tractor comes back and goes whoop and again this thing lays down a path here and they go along and do this and this guy goes back up again right and this is obviously not to scale but the way it works is they're basically able to get about a maximum of 10 beds in each section and that's where they plant their crops now the way the planting of the crops goes is it really depends how much crop you can get into each bed really depends on what the crop is that you're planting in right because each each crop requires a certain amount of um, width on either side a certain amount of space to grow properly right so you know small things you can put together and bigger things like cauliflowers and lettuce they need to sprawl out so they need more space to grow so depending on what they're growing they can put let's use white they can put certain number of rows in each bed now the maximum number of rows they've been able to put into a bed is six and sometimes they go as low as two rows in a bed and sometimes what they they also do is double up the different crops between the rows of whatever it is that they're planting right so it's sort of a uh, you know it, it's it, it's something that they have to know and something they research to find out which crops grow well with what crops from there they try to set it up in a way that they can maximize their space right because that's what it's really about you're trying to figure out what your space is and depending on what your space is that's what you can do and the only way you can do that to optimize to maximize your space is to introduce you know a certain amount of mathematics right you need your measurements you need your your dimensions of what it is that you're working and uh, how much space that you have and what it is that you're trying to do what uh, what it is that you're trying to grow or what it is that you're trying to build so basically this is you know the type of space that they have to work with right and depending on what they're what they're growing they have basically rows of something growing here and then they have you know maybe a half bed of something else growing here while you know they might introduce something else over here and over here they might only be able to have three different rows right so this is basically the layout of the farm and this is the area this is the space that they have to work with to be able to grow their crops now beyond this there's other things involved with the farm you know you need your uh, storage area you need your barn and uh, one other thing that you need is a greenhouse uh, and what we're going to do right now is take a look at uh, another video that Marv put together uh, showing us how they went ahead and built their own greenhouse so they could germinate their own seeds for their own crops or some of their seeds anyway because they're buying some of the other ones and uh, once we look at the video it should be quite obvious that uh, you do need a, a certain amount of mathematics to be able to not only do your layout of whatever whatever project it is that you're working on this one happens to be a farm but you also need a certain amount of mathematics to build things right uh, to be able to uh, allow you to start the next phase of whatever project it is that you're working on right because without the greenhouse they could have never had fields they could have never had seedlings to be able to plant in their crops okay 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, and after this little short, what we're going to do is uh, go to Marv uh, and Vanessa's house and have a little chat and, uh, you know, find out exactly what it is that they're doing and um, what they envision. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you like the next little short. Bye for now.